I want to add line items to my deal, I want to make sure that I'm on the deal record itself. And then on the right hand sidebar, I want to scroll down towards the bottom. You'll see line items. I've already added one in here so you can see what this looks like. Let me go ahead and select edit. It's going to then take me to line items here. Um, I have the option to edit the current line item that I have in place. You'll see here that I have a start date that is on payment. I can set this up to be custom and select the date itself. Uh, how long the term lasts, if it's a recurring billing, uh, how, what the quantity is, what the unit price is, etc., cetera, et cetera. Um, I also have the option to add another line item here. Now I'm just on a, uh, a test version here, so there's no product library, but in your case, if you're looking to add line items, you likely have a product library already in place. So this is a good place to go ahead and just grab whatever line item you want out of here. You also have the option to create a custom line item. Uh, you can come in, add a name to it. If there's any SKU or description that you need to add, uh, a unit price, as well as the recurring billing frequency, whether it's one time or whether it does recur, uh, as well as the term. Go ahead and save that once you have everything input. Uh, and then you'll see here, I can go ahead and select save. Uh, and I have the option to update the deal amount itself. Uh, so this will automatically calculate my deal amount as it goes through and saves that. So if I go back over to my deal, you'll now see that the amount has changed from being blank to $3 here. Um, and as I come down, I can also see on my line items, the items that I have. Mm -hmm.